if you make a million dollars this year, do you want to give us the full million or can I get that commitment from you? Or So our huge announcement. Last year, there was a, a fire um, that swept through West Texas. Spoonie, you remember? I do. Were you were you a part of our uh, volunteering? No. Oh, too busy. Were you a part of our volunteering? It's out there. So anyways, we went out. This community's completely overlooked. Um, went out. We had a bunch of furniture and stuff that we were storing. Like whenever we do evictions or whenever we buy a property, it's got good furniture. Uh, we grab that furniture and we store it in case somebody needs it or in case there's an Airbnb that we buy that needs something. So we had a basically a truckload of furniture that we were storing. So we heard about these fires. We decided we'd go donate that furniture. Got out there, realized a small community probably wasn't going to get a lot of attention or help. So we decided to donate money. Now, uh, we donated $80,000 and then we donated a bunch of time. We went out there, built house pads for Clear mobile homes. too, which was... was probably a big thing that people would overlook it's like just cleaning up so they can rebuild yes we cleaned off lots i mean we went out there several weekends in a row and did all this stuff anyways long story short spoonie is an expert bookkeeper so he can tell you how do you write off um any of this fuel that we bought for our equipment um wear and tear on trailers say we had a tire go out or or better yet when i tore my trailer up and we had to hire a welder to fix it how does that look bookkeeping wise um, when you're not doing it for a current project that you're working on. I mean, you can't write it off unless you're taking it to a charity. Yeah, it was pretty pretty rough <laughs> on the old bookkeeping um, because, I mean, we get with the CPAs and we do all this, but it's like it just made it a little hard. Another thing was we, the only person that we could give the money to, we couldn't give the money directly to the families. We had to give the money to a church, which we believe in the church, and give it to the church, but the families that we're actually working with on the ground – we have no way to direct those funds. So the people that we met that were out there helping them clean, that we know want to stay and all that, we don't know if they got those funds. We don't know We don't know what happened to the money or where it went. I mean, we gave them the list of people we wanted to help, but there's no. it's just trust and verify. I know we're not saying they did it or didn't do it or anything, but at that moment, we decided, we made a decision that we would um, apply for a nonprofit and see if we could get it. Braxton, what happened this last week? Got it. We're, uh, we're official. Yeah, we got we got our nonprofit approved. Spoonie, what you think of that? I think it's amazing. So we got a nonprofit now. That's good. How I mean, are you going to dump money into the nonprofit? Yeah. Do you want to self fund every good thing that we do for the rest of the world? Always. If you make a million dollars this year, do you want to give us the full million, or can I get that commitment from you? Or yeah, I'm not going to give you the full million because you got to eat and work and reinvest in your own business. Yes. What about you, Braxton? Kind of same deal. So we achieved a public st- a charity status, um, not a private foundation, which don't I don't have real good clarification on that, but we're a public charity, which gives us more leeway to get money from the public. So what we wanted to do with this nonprofit is do events here in the Metroplex. So we got with Ryan. Um, he's going to set it up. So, you know, if you're wanting to sponsor or anything like that, I don't know what – do you have Ryan's email – so Hill, yeah, yeah. What is it? This Ryan? Yeah, Ryan Harper. Um, you throw it on the screen. Yep. Yeah. But anyways, so we're going to put together a real estate event. All of the proceeds from the real estate event. So we're going to, you know, go to. I think we've picked out a venue in Irving. I'm going to pick it up in April. You'll be able to sponsor. You'll be able to do all these things. But it will go to the nonprofit, so it will be done through the nonprofit. Um, we're going to do some different stuff there, so uh, we'll take different donations from different people. Um, whether you have private coaching or whatever you have going, we're going to give away things there. There's going to be a silent auction. It's going to be a way different real estate event than the ones that you go to, where people just stand up on stage and toot their own horn. It's going to be, would you say, Bra- uh, uh, would you call it Spoonie? It's more, more. Is, this is going to be more. Uh... P.T. Barnum than a, a normal event. We want to have fun. Like, you know, and if I can bring a petting zoo, we will. It's going to get weird yeah, and it, fun. So we're going to we're gonna set it up to where, um, yeah, there'll be speakers. There'll be all that, all, all the same stuff. But there's going to be more panels, uh, more audience interaction. Uh, we're going to do cold calling from the stage. We're going to do the things that we, we want to want to get a group of people in the room, and we want to have a fucking blast. Um, doing real estate like 
How how is it at our office whenever we're all in there fucking around? It's competition every single day. And so is it noisy? Yes. Is Loud. The, the mm. energy's up. And we're gonna we're gonna do this. You're going to have a phenomenal time. Now, the event itself will be free to all those that attend, but the alcohol, we're gonna sell bracelets so you can get alcohol. That's for the nonprofit. But we're gonna need sponsors. Doesn't matter who you are, um, you can sponsor it. You can sponsor it perfectly, uh, personally, whatever you want to do. And then we're going to do silent auctions and a lot of different things around it. And that's how we're going to raise money and do things for the community. If you enjoyed this video, please, for the love of God, let us know in the comment section. Also, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you know every time a new one drops.